Welcome to question 3 of the 2017 Mathematical Methods Exam 1 for the Northern Hemisphere. In this video we will be looking at the solution for this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. So for question 3 we have state the smallest positive value of k such that x is equal to 3 pi on 4 is a solution of the equation tan of x equals cos of kx. So to approach this question, we're going to start by substituting in x is 3 pi on 4 to that equation. So therefore, we'd have cos of 3 pi k over 4 is going to equal tan of 3 pi over 4 once we substitute 3 pi on 4 in for x. Next up, we can think back to our unit circle. And now tan of 3 pi on 4 sits here. And extending that back through into this quadrant, we can see that the exact value of tan of 3 pi on 4 is negative 1. So therefore, we have cos of 3 pi k over 4 is going to equal negative 1. However, to get cos to equal negative 1, we need to be in this position on the unit circle here, where there are coordinates negative 1, 0, so the cos value is negative 1. And to get to there, we need an angle of pi. So therefore, we need 3 pi k over 4 to equal pi. And now solving that for k, we can start by going 3 pi k is equal to 4 pi. And dividing both sides by 3 pi, we find that k must equal 4 over 3. So that is the smallest positive value of k, such that x is 3 pi and 4 is a solution to that equation. For part B of this question, we're asked to solve 2 sine squared of x plus 3 sine of x minus 2 equals 0, where x is between 0 and 2 pi included. So we can recognise that there's a pair of 2 on sine of x, regular sine of x, and a constant term. So that gives us a hint towards this being a hidden quadratic. So to reveal it, we're going to let the variable capital A equal sine of x. So therefore, the equation we're solving is now 2a squared plus 3a minus 2 is equal to 0. And now to solve that quadratic, we're going to attempt to factorise it and use the null factor law. So because there's a coefficient on the a squared term, what we do is we take its coefficient and we multiply it by the constant term. So we're going to have 2 times negative 2, and that gives negative 4. And now we're going to look for the factors of negative 4 that add up to 3. So we could have negative 4 and positive 1, we could have 4 and negative 1, or we could have 2 and negative 2. And we can see if we add these up, it's the second one, 4 plus negative 1, which is going to equal positive 3. So we're going to use that information to help us factorise. So therefore, we're going to rewrite our quadratic as 2a squared, and then we use the 4 and the negative 1 to split up the middle term. So it's going to be plus 4a minus a minus 2 is equal to 0. And then we factorise by grouping 2 and 2. So 2a squared plus 4a has a common factor of 2a, leaving behind a plus 2. And then negative a minus 2 has a highest common factor of negative 1. And that will also leave behind a plus 2, and that's going to equal 0. So removing now the highest common factor of a plus 2, which is present in both of our terms, we would find the factorised expression is a plus 2, and then in the second bracket we'd have 2a subtract 1, and we know that that is equal to 0. So therefore, the null factor law would tell us that a plus 2 could equal 0, or we would find that 2a subtract 1 could equal 0. However, we know what a is. a was just sine of x, so we have the equation sine of x could equal negative 2, or sine of x for the second equation could equal positive a half. And now sine of x, if we think about that, that can never equal negative 2, so there's no solution to that part. And now sine of x equaling a half, if we think about that on a unit circle, we know that sine is read off the y-axis and the pattern goes root 1 on 2, root 2 on 2, root 3 on 2, so we're looking for the smallest angle here, which gives sine of x being equal to a half, so that there is pi on 6. And then the second position where that happens is in this second quadrant, and that is at 5 pi on 6. So we have that x is equal to pi on 6, and 5 pi on 6 are two solutions. And based on our domain of 0 to 2 pi, 
and the fact that it's just regular sine of x, they are the only solutions we'd expect. So that is the answer to part B of this question.